what's going on ryan troy back with another video for you today now i get a lot of questions about my retouching techniques so what i wanted to do was put out a couple of videos um showing certain things that i do now i don't want this video to be too long because i'm pretty sure you click this video just because you want to know what the title said so what i'm going to do is i'm going to throw one of my presets on here uh i will go with uh this one right here so i'm gonna go with this preset and this isn't an editing video but i just i want my photo to look right now if you're in, in, interested in any of my presets they are always linked below in the description um so you can feel free to check that out but let's get to what you came to this for now if we want to change the background which i kind of do i shot this on a great back on a great backdrop but I think that it would be good in something like a mocha. And if you're familiar with my work, you know, I shoot a lot of beauty on mocha, but I think mocha, that color will really make this pop. So first place we're gonna go is over here to what used to be our paintbrush, right? But it's where our paintbrush lives now. So if you look right here, you will see a paintbrush, you will see a linear gradient, your radial gradient, range, objects. But look up here, look at these three options. You have subject, where if we click subject, it will highlight our subject, you know, our model. If we click sky, um, not sure anything will happen because we don't have any sky in this image. But look at this last one right here, background. Now, if we click this, what it will do is it will automatically select the background in the photo powered by AI. So we're going to click that. It's going to analyze the photo for a little while and then look at that perfect beautiful now with that being said i want you to realize one thing it kind of missed this little area right here but if you stick around i will show you how we fix that it's a real easy fix now this is what i want you to do i want you to look at here where it says color right we have our temperature now if we slide it over to the right we're going to get more of a warm we slide it to the left we're going to get more of a blue and over here if we slide this we're going to get a green and if we slide this we'll get a magenta but let me show you where the real magic comes in you see right here where it says color if we click that anything that we select we get to have that as an option isn't that cool but like i said i care more about mocha that's the color that i want to go for so I'm actually just gonna get out of all of this right here. And I'm just gonna adjust my temperature to, to here, right here. I'm gonna make it a little warmer. And you can also change these sliders. Maybe you wanna bump the shadows. Maybe you wanna lower the exposure, you know, increase the exposure. I'm gonna leave it like that. I like the way that looks right there. That's beautiful. All right, so let's go back to how I told you we're gonna get rid of this. If you look up here where your mask is, if you hover over this plus, it will say add to mask. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click that and we're gonna add to mask with a brush. Now we're gonna take this, okay, there we go. We're gonna take this brush. Uh, you can adjust the size, you know, like you always do. And you're just gonna paint in here, okay? Now I'm not familiar with Mac, but on, on PC, we use alt to get to the minus sign. Um, I don't know if it'd be, it's probably not command, but I'm not really sure exactly what it's called, but we could get it away from the finger and just get it in the spots that we want it and take it away from the spots that we don't. Same thing right here. Right. And then boom, now we are, now we're complete. So, you know, hopefully you use that to change, um, the color of your backdrops. And if you got anything from this video, leave it with a like, and if you want more of these, Go ahead on and subscribe. Actually, if you want more videos like this, comment below, especially if you're one of my existing uh, subscribers. And uh, just let me know exactly what you want me to cover. And I'll make little bite sized videos like this, getting straight to the point. OK, so until the next time, I will see y'all later. This is Ryan Troy. Have a wonderful day.